his marriage. Yeah, I'll take one, thanks. I don't see any about. Hey! Hey, that kid took my wallet! Hey! Stop! Okay, let's see what good old Horace Winston is donating. It's a long way from ten grand. Come down here and talk. I hear you just love to talk. Hey, come on, guys. I didn't do anything. Well, that's not what I heard. I heard you've been bragging about hijacking one of the man's delivery boys. Look, I didn't steal anything from Benoit, okay? I'm not that stupid. Come on, guys. Do I look like I got a death wish here? Yeah, you do. It won't be a problem for the boss anymore. <laughs> Homicide. Looks professional. Yeah, we'll draw the conclusions around here, officer. Thank you. Any witnesses? Uh, a couple of people heard the shots. Uh, saw a car pull away, but nobody saw it go down. Sure, this guy is dead. I could have sworn I heard some breathing. You come on down Ow! here, Oscar. You've been up there for two hours. always get you. Well, it just seems that I happen to be the officer in charge of matters totally unrelated to police work. So your cat again, huh? Oscar's been up there for two hours. They said they'd send somebody right over. Oh, but I wait, and I wait, and I wait. Yeah, I know. But I know. does anybody come? No. The real policemen are out chasing bank robbers and murderers. I got it, lady. And I... all I get is the department reject who shows up looking like some bum off the street. OK, already. Now, I will take this crap from downtown because they signed my paycheck. But you, I don't need it from. So if you don't mind, I got a date with a bottle of Pepto-Bismol and a crossword puzzle. Hey, what about Oscar? I'm going to report you. You can't just leave him up there. OK. There's your Oscar. So you're Horace Winston. Got a gold card, Horace, and a visa. In a diner's club. Hey, I like to entertain. How'd you explain this? A really bad haircut. Now, son, we really don't care how you got the wallet. What we're interested in is a murder. So why don't you just tell me everything you saw? Nothing. Now, can I go? Look, kid, it's not very nice for little boys like you to tell lies. Now, if you don't cooperate with me, I could be very hard on you. I could phone your parents, I could get you expelled from school. But you know what the worst thing I could do to you? Sit on me. You sick little punk. You want this to get nasty? Oh! Oh, my eye! My eye! That hurts! Hey, sugar. Hey, Matt, welcome back. those missing IAD files or the uh, Crandall case? Nope. For some reason, neither one of those things has happened to make it into your file yet. You know, you are really something else. Why is it that we have never gotten together yet? Because you have no life, no future, you're completely self-destructive, and you refuse to do anything about it. And you're gonna let that stop you? Thanks, Tina. Great. Gannon, you look like crap. What's the matter, rehab not working out? Hey, speaking of not working out, huh? Yeah, you're real funny, pal. All right, knock it off. Dorm. Green and Murdoch here are working on the homicide of a John Doe. 
and we have a potential witness that needs protection. Ah, murder witness, sure, okay. Where is he? What? Oh, not the kid. It's only till we ID him and find his family. I'm not gonna put him in lockup overnight. Overnight? No, look, I don't know anything about kids. I don't babysit them, no, no, no. Look, I, Norm Gannon will only stoop so low. So, you, uh, you into this, uh, hippity hopsy? Till we get home, though, right? Oh, sure, sure. Unless I throw up. This is your favorite restaurant? Hi. Welcome to Hungry Hippos. I'm Hal. Uh, any of you hip wets have any questions? Yeah, this place got a liquor license. <laughs> Bring me a cup of coffee. What are you looking at? Those things. Oh, the handcuffs. I've never seen handcuffs before. Well, this goes around one wrist, and then this clips around the other one, see? And then you can't get out without the key. Sweet. Can I see them? Hi, this is Detective Norm Gannon in the 12th Precinct. Uh, yeah, look, we have a report of a missing credit card, and I wanted you to check and see if anybody has used it to purchase anything in the last couple of hours. Uh, the name on the credit card is uh, <coughs> Norman Gannon. Yeah, OK, 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 it's my credit card. Would you just check on it, please? Here is the other chocolate mousse that you ordered, Master Ganon. Thanks, man. And thank you so much for the generous tip. <laughs> no problem, Bob. But will there be anything else, Master Ganon? No, I'm totally stuck. Ah, what's the matter, kid? Lose your appetite, huh? Uh... I got you. Come on, me. Come on. Hey. 
who's the loser now, huh, kid? Maybe you got something that belongs to me. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, look what I found. Oh, oh, that hurt. Gee, I'm so Come sorry. Stop me. I need to pay for this, you know. Better get ready to face one big lawsuit. Yeah, well, lawsuits cost more money than you got, kid. Unless, of course, you come from a wealthy family, do you? Let's just say we don't have to live in a dump like this. Oh, geez, what died in here? Last kid I brought home. Hey, 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 do you mind? I like it this way. You're gonna give me some of that, right? I already bought you dinner. You got a bathroom here? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Forget about it, kid. You're not gonna pull that old slip out the bathroom window routine on me. Uh-uh. But I have to go. Oh, ho, ho, tough. Well, I guess in this dump, it doesn't really matter where I go. OK, 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 you win. You win. It's right there. And you got 30 seconds. Hey, kid, why don't you tell me who your parents are? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a long drop out that window, huh, kid? Got a problem? I don't. These are folks? Yeah. Here's a free tip. I keep this in a drawer. A squeeze. It happens to be my ex-wife, Trish. And just keep your hands off that if you don't mind. Why'd you guys split? Intimacy problems? Oh, this is gonna be a long night. Huh. Looks like you used to have a pretty good life. How'd you screw it up? Geez, you ask a lot of questions. No, really. I mean, with all these medals and stuff, how'd you get stuck looking after me? Well, just blind luck, I guess. Now, look, kid. Unless you're going to tell me a lot about yourself, I think it's your bedtime. <laughs> yeah, right. And what are you going to do, make me? Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Yep. You bum! <laughs> my father's in here. Kick your butt! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> if he found out how you've been treating me, he'd finish you off in about, oh, five seconds. Mm -hmm. If your father really cared about you, don't you think he'd have reported you missing? Hey, kid. I'm sorry. The only reason he hasn't reported me missing is because he doesn't know I am missing. He thinks I'm at summer camp, and they think I'm at home. Well, so now I know you're rich, and you go to summer camp. The mystery unravels. If I'm telling the truth. No, I thought you kids from the suburbs always tell the truth. Nice try, but that's not where I live. <laughs> so you just went to the uh, bus station just to see the scenery? Sure beats the motel stinks here. You gonna go to bed in your clothes? Thanks for a quicker escape. Oh, don't worry. I got that solved. You can't do that. No, why not? Because what if there's a fire, huh? I'd be a helpless carcass of charred flesh. And they'd arrest you for child endangerment. And they'd hang you until your neck snapped like a twig. Yeah, well, you're forgetting one thing. There ain't gonna be a fire. the smell of burnt wool in the evening. It smells so much like victory. 
over here. Okay. Now, you die, I die. Looks like victory is mine after all, huh? Well, now you're real special now. Yeah, give me a pillow. Sure. Yeah, right? So what? Look, it's not like they're gonna trace it back here, are they? They could trace it to my bank. And what about the kid? The cops think he saw something in the alley. The kid saw nothing. Believe me. Ah, I believe you. Ha! He didn't even know he was there. Look, they assigned some screw-up to look after the kid. Gannon. After what you did to him, it won't be any problem. How much can a kid know, right? I'm not gambling my future career on the wishful thinking of some incompetent. What do you want me to do about the kid, sir? Kill him. Good morning, Norm. Here he is, signed, sealed, and delivered, ending yet another exciting chapter in my life as a cop. Um, actually, Norm. What? The captain wants you to keep him another day. What? He can't get an ID on him. Come on, come on. Enough is enough with this kid. Will this help? What, a donut? You think you could buy me with a donut? I tried. Is it chocolate? Chocolate glazed with sprinkles. How did you know I had a thing for chocolate donuts? Norm, you eat them every day. Hey, what are you doing? What are you... Get out of there, you little weasel! That's my file! Come on, Norm. I don't blame you for being too... I would, too, if I was only making 37 grand a year. So, what happened in 95? Nothing. Then why'd they make you see a shrink? Molly, dearest. Go to Charlie Nine. Has anything, anything turned up on young Damien here? Not a thing, Norm. The kid's still a mystery. I can't come in with you. Because you're not part of my routine. You see, every morning I take my crossword puzzle, I go inside and I do it while I'm sitting on the throne. And perhaps, just perhaps, I get a couple of moments of peace and quiet. This really, really stinks. Oh, gee, that's too bad, because there's not a thing you can do about it. But don't worry. I'll be back in a flush. Get it? Flush. No, it went right over my head. <laughs> hey, that's not too tough. Ah! Hey, give me a BLT, will ya? And double up on the pickles. Major bust. I need backup. Plenty of it. Fast. What's the location? Danny's coffee shop. Eh, four-letter word. 
heard from Malicious. better. Are you kidding me? You did ask for double peppers, didn't you? I guess that must be a pretty sick feeling to suddenly realize that you have come up against the master. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. Norm, I've been looking for you for the past hour. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I misplaced myself. I have some good news for you. You are being reassigned. Well, it's about time. What, they find the kid's parents? No, but they've ID'd the murder victim. Seems like he was a small timer who ripped off a courier of guess who? Your old friend, Jean Benoit. They think the kid may be in real danger, so just in case, they want to make sure he's secure. Oh, what, for Nasky doesn't think I can handle it? Norm, I thought you'd be glad to get rid of him. Yeah, yeah, of course I am. Be nice to get my life back. Yeah, all right, I'll bring the kid in within an hour. My turn. Hey, hot stuff, your time's up. Okay, so stop fooling around. Okay. Hey, you got the three to open that door or I'm coming in. Are you? One. Uh. Two. Uh. Three. Here I come. Yes. Get. Get.
help you? I'd like a room, please. Oh, would you? <laughs> and just why would I give you a room? Is this a good enough reason? The captain's been climbing the walls. I, uh... <clears throat> Where is the kid? I misplaced him. What? Oh, no. Uh, when is the captain back? Any minute. <sighs> yeah, Gannon. Is that you? Please, from now on, it's the bastard. <laughs> okay, laugh all you want to now, but then you gotta come back in. Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't wait up for me. No, kid, look, I'm dead serious. Things have changed. You, you, you may be in real danger out there. Yeah, right. Look, I'm telling you, th that murder you saw, some heavy-duty guys were connected to it, guys that, that may be looking for you right now. Nice bluff, Norm. I should be falling for it any year now. Oh, kid, kid, I'm begging you, please. You admit I won? Yes, yes, sure, whatever. I want you to say it. Okay, okay, you won. I want you to say that I'm the Normanator and you're just a lowly butthead. What? I'm the Normanator and you're just a lowly butthead. Say it. All right, um, <clears throat> you're the Normanator and I am, uh, I'm just a lowly, uh, <clears throat> butthead. Okay. Louder. All right, you're the Normanator, and I am just a lowly butthead. All right, there, I said it. Now, are you coming in or not? Not a chance. Look, kid, this is not a game anymore. Oh, yes, it is. Now, if you want me, you're going to have to find me. Look, now, hold on. All right, all right. The, the city is a pretty big playground out there. You're going to have to give me some clues. Now, why would I do that? Uh... Just to be fair, and, and, and especially since you're, you're dealing with a, a, a lowly butthead like me. True. Tell you what, I'll tell you something and you tell me something. Yeah, yeah, sure, anything. What happened in 95? Look, I am not going into that right now. Fine with me? We'll do it later then. No, no, kid, kid, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give, give, me a, give me a minute to think about it, okay? Are you kidding me, right? No, why? This is my place. All right, kid. I will play your game. Good. I'm waiting, Norm. Just come and get me. The game is called Hide and Seek. So if you want me, you're gonna have to find me. You're on.
To me. Can't you pick on somebody your own size? Yeah, but it's not nearly as much fun as picking on you. <sighs> Norm, you're ruining that tie. Oh, by the way, I borrowed your cell phone. Did you need it? Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I do, you little psychotic maniac. Oh, then I guess you're gonna hate the other thing I borrowed. You didn't. Check for yourself. Uh, no, no, I don't. Where? On the bookshelf, you fool. Don't you remember? Oh, you know me. I don't know where anything is around here. Why are you getting fainter? Fainter? I don't know what you're talking about. Right now, let's see it the other way around. You listen to me, you little creep. You, you let me out of here. Right now. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Are you positive? Yes, I'm positive. Say pretty please with the cherry on top. Ah! Say it. Pretty please with the cherry on top. OK. Ah! 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 Hello? Yes, I'd like to report this crazy man ah! who seems to have locked himself in a dumpster. 16th and Belmont. All right, thanks. Don't worry, Norm. They should be here in about, oh, 10 minutes. We're gonna pay for this. Big time! Big, big time! And who's gonna make me? You? I don't think so. You see, the game's over, and I won. Game set and match. Uh, see you, Norm. Uh, kid, kid, don't, 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 come back. Kid, kid, don't, kid. Oh. There was a time you were the best cop on this force. When you set your sights in Benoit, I thought he was as good as done. But we're a long way from that now, aren't we? Norm, Bobby made his own decision that day. I think it's time you made yours.
Listen up, people. Our number one priority today is to find this boy. Especially before the press gets hold of it, and we end up looking like a bunch of... Bunch of Norm Gannons? <laughs> All right, Greedon and Murdoch, they're gonna be spearheading the operation. We're gonna hit every train station, bus station, homeless shelter, child aid center. Won't work. Well, Norm Gannon, you made roll call. To what do we owe this great pleasure? Well, just to tell you, you won't find the kid this way. Look, I know, I know, my credibility is running pretty low right now, but I do know this kid better than anyone else around here. And I gotta tell you, your chances of finding this kid in a hostel or a, a, a shelter about as, as good as finding a lean cuisine in Murdoch's freezer. <laughs> Look, this kid, he knows how to get his hands on money. He travels strictly first class. So, if it was me, I'd start at anything with five stars in front of it, work down from there. That is how you're going to find this kid. score NT. Gotcha. Okay, okay, we got something. He was at the Bedford Hotel, registered under the name of Skip Rockefeller, paid in cash, $100 bills, told the desk clerk his dad was coming in the next day. But I just missed him. Anyway, I found out his initials, NT. He left them on a video game he was playing. All right, why don't you run that over to missing persons, see what their fancy computers can come up with. Hey, detective. Good job. Thank you, sir. Our contact at the precinct <sighs> tells me that our little friend is alive and well. Spending a lot of my money. And the kid's been kind of hard to track down. I thought I told you to take care of this kid. I want you to do it. Now. Yes? I live down the street. Well, my dad does, but um, he's not home right now. He's at work. So I'm kind of locked out. Oh. I was wondering if I... I'm Norman, by the way. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Norman. Um, I'm Trish. Well, um, all right. Well, why don't you come in and wait for your dad here? You sure it's all right? Yeah, I'm sure it's okay. Come on in. Sorry, I have to do this. I'm kind of new at this visiting stuff. See, my parents just got divorced. I'm not really used to it. You know, people being divorced. Well, I am. In fact, my ex-husband's name is Norman. No way, really? Yeah. You want to sit? Sure. So, listen, you hungry for something? Uh, uh sh sure. Okay, I'll be right back. So, why'd you guys split? Pardon me? You and Norm, what went wrong? I don't know. What didn't? Wasn't anything weird, was it? No. Although he did have his quirks. Like? Geez, you're awfully curious about somebody you don't even know. Hey, what can I say? Someday I want my own talk show. So? Well, I don't know. Nothing serious. I mean, 
Well, for instance, the way he kept house. Or the way that he would use his tie as a napkin, even in the best restaurants. Sounds embarrassing. No, nothing embarrassed Norm. Really? Nothing? Oh, not much. I do remember how red he got when his mom called him dimples. Or how choked up he got when he tried to do something sweet. All that would come out was this cute little cough. God, this must be very boring for you. No, no. Sounds like a pretty interesting guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Something happened? Yeah, back about three years ago. What was it? No, I don't think so. It's not a very nice story. I want some more cookies. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call my dad. See if he's home. Okay. Hey Kelly, present for you. Single malt. Yeah, get in here. Good work, Norm. Ah, uh, uh, wh what do you mean? I got to your place, you got to mine. Looks like you want this game to continue. Uh, now, listen, young man, nobody wants a game here. I, I just want to make sure you're safe. Young man? Why are we play today? Bet you got all your buddies listening in, too, and you wouldn't want them to know what an uber jerk you are. That one listening, too? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got the whole game. Listen, son. This is Captain Bernanski. Shut up, Pops. I don't care if you're Captain Kangaroo. This game is between Norm and me, and he's the only one I want to talk to. All right, all right, kid. What do you want? You know what I want, Norm. 95? Why? Why do you want to know about that? Because you don't want to tell me. No good. He's on a cell phone. All right, kid. I'll tell you. I'll tell you about 95, and then you tell me where you are, OK? Deal. Is that a promise? Got my word. OK. Ninety-five. I made a terrible mistake. That's it? Hey, you never said how specific I had to be. Now it's your turn. And you got me hook, line, and sinker on that one. I guess a deal's a deal, right? Hang on. Trish, what's the address here? What did you just say? 48 Grand Street. You get that? Dimples? That's right, Norm. Trish told me everything. Well... Almost everything. I am gonna get you, kid. Not here you won't. I'll be long gone by the time you get here. But I will meet you at a place called Laserland in one hour. You come alone. And you sign up your pals and you'll never see me again. You can go in there alone, but I'm gonna have the exits covered. I don't want this kid getting away again.
excuse me. Where'd you get that? I've been looking all over for them. Lady, do you mind? This is police business. All right, come on, kid. Warmer? Warmer? Sir, we need a gun to go in there. What is this for a gun? All right, kid. Where are you? Talk to me. Come on. Where are you? Come on, kid. You get shy all of a sudden? Okay, Norm? Yeah, I'm fine, fine. That Joker may not be feeling too good about now. Did you find the kid? No, we didn't find him. Oh. Well, we better. Before Benoit finds him first. That was really good, Kristen, really good. Um, let's try it again, but this time pick up the tempo a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, I'll be back in a minute, Kristen. You keep playing, okay? Four months, 14 days. But I don't know how many minutes. As you know, I never was a real expert on time. I don't know. You seem to be an expert on closing time. I'm sorry. That was a cheap shot. I'm sure I deserved it. You look good. How are you doing? I have my days. You know how it is. <clears throat> and, uh, what's new with you? Well, I'm not seeing anybody, if that's what you mean. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't, uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm here on police business. Oh, um, uh, well, why don't you just give me a minute here, okay? So you can't tell me anything else about him in likes, dislikes, hobbies? You mean other than his insatiable curiosity about you? No. <sighs> no 
Well, I know all about that. Look, you didn't tell him about, uh... What do you think, Norm? I have to tell you, though, he certainly did con me. Devious little fellow, isn't he? Devious? Trish, this kid is diabolical. Well, it seems to me that little Norman has gotten under your skin. Right, like a tick. Oh, I don't know, Norm. I think he looks good on you. Ah, uh, please, spare me the character evaluations. Remember, your attorney took care of that last time. Yeah. I just need to figure out where he might go. And I don't know anything about kids, Trish. I mean, maybe you can help me out here. Well, believe it or not, Norm, you were once a kid yourself. I mean, where would you go when you got scared? Me? You kidding me? I was a chicken boy. Anything spooked me, I just... I headed... straight home. Well? These flowers are real pretty. Oh, thanks. Well, thank you. Uh, on behalf of the entire police department. <laughs> um, look, uh, <clears throat> I was thinking, you know, um, <clears throat> you know. I'd love to. Where or when? Uh, Friday. My place, uh, 7 o'clock. Great. I'll cook you dinner. Oh, well. This I can't wait to see. <laughs> Sorry, Norm, still nothing. Oh, come on, I got you his initials. That didn't help. You know how many 8 to 11-year-old boys in this city have the initials NT? I need more than that, Norm. I'm a genius, not a psychic. Genius, genius, wait a minute. Genius, can you access school records with that thing? You can do almost anything. What if you cross-reference what you've got with uh, um, uh, gifted children, you know, kids with IQs of 140 and up? What? It's worth a try. Good, let's try it. Detective Gannon. Oh, you're the one who was taking care of Nathan. Uh, well, I'm afraid it was more like the other way around. Uh, yeah, he can be quite a handful, can't he? Yeah. Um, please, well, come on in. He's had it uh, pretty rough lately. I missed some mortgage payments, and they put me on notice, so I had to take on a second job. And I, I suppose he told you about his father. No, uh, no. He, um, he passed away last year. Car accident. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it's not like it was totally unexpected. See, uh, Larry had a drinking problem. Uh, how did Nathan get along with his father? Oh, Nathan was very hard on him. He used to drive Larry crazy. He thought that Nathan must have hated him, but in hindsight, I don't, I don't think he did. I like to think that maybe he just loved him so much he was challenging him, you know, to be a better person. I suppose that's just wishful thinking on my part, though. You never know. But Larry wasn't a bad man. I mean, he had a lot of great friends. In fact, I just got a letter from one saying how wonderful he was and that he'd loaned him all this money when he was down and out and inside this letter was ten thousand dollars i mean i never even knew larry had seen that kind of money let alone loaned it out to someone you know anyway i can't tell you how much we needed that money it didn't happen to come in hundreds did it yeah i think it did how did you know oh it's uh, it's an old irish custom
play dumb. You don't know anything. Hello? Nathan. Hi, sweetheart. How are things? Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Well, I miss you. What you been up to? What are you doing here? I'm working. What? Oh, no. I, I understand. It's for you. Hi, kid. You just won't give up, will you, Norm? No, I won't, Nathan. Now, listen. Kid, I know about everything, how tough it's been on you and about your dad. So now you're going to throw it in my face? That's not what I meant. Fine. Make it even, then. Tell me about you, Norm. Tell me about 95. Look, kid, I don't have time for this. Now, you know what these people will do if they catch you. you got to let me protect you. Yeah, and you do a real good job of that, too, Norm. All, all right, all right, forget about me. you got the entire police department this time protecting you. Norm, has it ever occurred to you that you guys were the only ones that knew I was at Laserland? Thanks, but I'll take my chances out here. Do you know what time it is? Jeez, Mom, you better switch to decaf. Yeah. What's with the personnel files? I think somebody around here has been moonlighting. No kidding. My homework. Uh oh, look out. Bathroom bandit is back. <laughs> Norm, will it be just you or is your squad joining you here today? I got a favor to ask. Next time you get a hot tip, keep it to yourself. No, I don't get this. Look, why would the kid drag me all the way down here and then not show up? To make you look like a fool. That's why. Right. Succeeded big time, no. too. No, look, I, I know this kid. If that was his plan, he'd have greased the floor. He'd have put glue on the door handles. He'd have tried to blow me up, something. I am telling you we're missing something here. Yeah, I'm missing lunch. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Talk to Benoit right away. Of 
course, this is a safe line. Look, I just had a visit from a cop. Somehow or other, they've connected me with the kid. I don't know, you tell me. All I know is this was never part of the deal. We gotta shut down. I'll clean up here. You take care of Hudson printing. Fine, just be out of there by tomorrow night. In the meantime, I'd wire your cop another five grand. I want that kid taken care of. Hey, you dropped your bag. Six months watching every little thing that crook did. And what do you think he came up with? What? Nothing. Pretty tenuous, Norm. Okay, let me ask around. Thank you. Hey, why? Hey, Norm, I uh, checked out Madison Mercantile on the computers like you asked me to. It seems you were right. Uh, Benoit had a whole truckload of accounts there through numbered companies with major dollars going oh, yeah. out. That smells like money laundering. And our kid's stuck right in the middle. I'll keep at it, but most of the staff's gone by seven. Thanks. Oh, oh Trish. I'm sorry. Don't be. Gave me a chance to relive the good old days. Finally got a housekeeper. Yeah, sort of. Well, I could use a drink. How about you? Uh, sure. What do you got? Well, I have Diet Coke and Snapple. <laughs> um, Snapple. Great. You know, I remember the first time you cooked for me. I thought I'd found the perfect guy. He was cute and could cook. Except that time I think it was uh, Special K, remember? No. Of course you don't remember, because you would have to be listening to me to remember. Wouldn't you, Norm? Hmm? Yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. Nothing. Why? Let's just say I recognize the look. No, I'm fine, really. I gotta go. Uh, Trish, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid. Okay? It, it, I'm worried about the kid. I'm worried that he's, he's getting into something he may never be able to get out of. And I can't handle the blood of somebody else on my hands. Not again. And I don't know how to reach him, you know? I just, if I could just grab him and shake him, maybe. Yeah, well, maybe that's not the way to him, Norm. Look, maybe I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, but it seems to me this you versus him thing just isn't working. You gotta show him that you're on his side. Yeah, but he won't listen to me. Maybe he will if you tell him what he wants to hear. <sighs> Come on, what difference is that gonna make? It would have made all the difference for us. Norm, it's not about shutting people out. It's about letting them in. So, you wanted to see me? Nobody knows you're here, right? No. I want to make a deal. with you I think the better question is what's up with you Murdoch what are you talking about your top drawer I understand that's where you keep Benoit's little presents are you crazy yeah and you've been hitting the sauce because you're not making any sense open it up 
Get out of here. I said, open it up. Scan it. Wait one minute. Open it up. Here. He's working with Benoit. Murr? I swear, I don't know how I got my draw. What do you want to? You're under arrest, Jabba. Hey, look, I don't have to take the... Maybe I'm not as dumb as I look, huh? Or maybe you just are. Take a break. Oh. You know what? You have been such a great friend that I would be more than willing to share this bust with you if you would do this. <laughs> nice try. Seriously, Norm, this was your hunch and you played it out. You earned this one. Yeah, Gannon here. It's me. Look, kid, uh, you had, <clears throat> I mean, you, you, you had all of us worried sick. But listen, you can come in now. You were right about the inside man, but we found him. Yeah, Norm, I really believe you. Hey, I wasn't the one who said he'd be at Madison Mercantile and didn't show. Well, you mean that place where you showed up and busted in with six cops and made a total freak of yourself? I was there, Norm. You just didn't look hard enough. I don't buy that. You know what I think? I think you wanted me to go charging in there just like I did. I think that you never had any intention of hiding in that place in the first place. Norm, I ease up on the thinking stuff. Your brain was never equipped for heavy machinery. I think you wanted me to rattle somebody's cage, somebody you were scared of. Excuse me? Problem is, you couldn't stop them yourself, could you? That's why you needed me. I don't need anybody. Oh, really? Well, why do you keep calling me, huh? Fine. Then I won't. I'm gone. No, no, don't. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe you don't need me. Maybe the fact is, I need you. What are you talking about? I don't know. Maybe I need you to let me help you so nothing bad happens again. I don't know. Let's forget it. No. Really, I'm listening. All right, this may be hard for you to believe. It's hard for me to believe sometimes, but I used to be considered a pretty good cop, you know? Promotions, awards, commendations. Me and my partner, Bobby, we were on the fast track. Right up. Anyway, me and my partner were dogging this heavy-duty bad guy named Benoit for months without getting anywhere. I mean, this guy was playing it really, really clean. And finally, one day, right at the end of our shift, we thought we might be getting the break we'd been waiting for. Something tells me he's not here to check out the real estate. Come on. Oh, I don't know about this, Norm. I say we wait for backup. What is your problem? You just get your nails done? <laughs> hey, it's dark in there. The entry's totally unprotected. He could be anywhere. Gone is what he's gonna be. We just sit and wait. He was in there doing something, Bobby. I wanna catch him while he's doing it. Come on. Come on, don't be an idiot. No more. So Bobby and I didn't call for backup, and I went into the warehouse alone.
Bobby did it. He gave up his gun. Broadview and Hudson. I'll be waiting for you. Send you the bill. So what are you doing here? I'll show you. Look at that. Myron. That's been a while. I don't know who he is. All I know is a guy from the bank said that somebody's gonna get rid of something here. Yeah, probably evidence of money laundering. But why here? Well, maybe I just ought to call a couple of backup units, hold a little surprise party to find out why. This time, Murdoch won't be around to spoil the fun. You mean the fat guy? Yeah. Turns out he was your inside man. You were right. Here, let me help you with that. Yeah. We found an envelope with $2,000 of Benoit's money stashed at his desk. That's weird. The guy at the bank said they were giving the cop five grand. And he said they were going to wire the money. Sure you got the right guy? Because I got the right guy. I don't know. Maybe you've been had. Was well, that what you think, really? Well, you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, nobody knew that Murdoch was even a suspect except for me and Tina. Oh, nice going, Norm. Tina, you've got to be kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding? Let's go. This was inevitable, wasn't it? Good for you. No, bad for you, actually. You never learned, will you? Last time it cost you your partner. Well, this time it's gonna cost you a hell of a lot more than that. This isn't real, is it? Are you kidding? It's all phony, just like everything else about this guy. Actually, this is of the highest quality. Even the finest experts can't discern the difference. Yeah, like all your stooges at Madison Mercantile who did all the laundering for you? Distribution is the key to any successful business. Unfortunately, we will be having to close up shop here. Well, the presses will be open. Of course, this is no longer any concern of yours, is it? Sorry, Norm. Yeah. Gonna leave you holding a bag, Tina, you know that? 
Who do you think they're gonna come after when they figure out that Murdoch didn't have anything to do with this? After you, actually. See, you were the one who set him up. So after they discover you missing, they'll just chalk it up to another drunk cop gone bad. What about the kid? We'll deal with him later. Let's take him along for insurance. It's gonna be all right. No, it's not. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill you too. God, don't, don't do this. Investigation, if you please. Get rid of the car. there in half an hour. Knock 
that busy this time of day, is it? Red Kid, you're doing great. You talk too much. Do I? Sorry, I guess I'm a little nervous. See, I've never been this far south before. That's it, keep it up. Shut up. Four, 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 what? Pier four. What are you doing? Counterfeiter Jean Benoit continues today as more arrests were made. And all of this is due to the efforts of one person. 12-year-old wonder kid, Nathan Thomas. Ah. Well, that's enough of that, huh? <sighs> You're right. Here's your clicker. Well, speaking of the devil. Oh, great. Hey, Norm. Ow! Is that you in there, Norm? What's left? Well, um, I think I'll give you men some privacy. Mm -hmm. So, you gonna be all right? Yeah, all right enough to kick your butt if you skip school anymore, Mr. Hero. Talked to your mom yesterday. I told her I might stop by from time to time, you know, just to check up on you. But no more running away from home, okay? Because if you do, you know I will come after you and I will find you. Yeah, I know. That's why I got you this. Come on, open it. What is this? 
Detective Norm Gannon, hide and seek champion of the world. Flying me out to New York to do the Letterman show. So, um, see you later, Norm. You bet. See you, Norm. <sighs> see you, Nathan. <laughs> Come see us again, okay? Okay. Great right. right, kid. Mm -hmm. Kid! Hey, hey, kid! 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 Bye, Norm. Thank you.